Hi everyone, I'm Shep. And I'm Brittany. And, and this, this is the Super, super amazing, amazing Show. Each week we bring you a tip or idea to help you create super amazing customer experiences. Chef, what are we talking about today? So last week we talked about surveys and keeping them short and keeping them simple. And this week I think it's important to operationalize and take action on those surveys, at least the responses that you get. Yes, there's nothing worse than asking your customers for their feedback and then not acting on it or waiting until the end of the quarter to aggregate it and act on it. So what are some tips that companies can take to quickly disseminate the information to everyone who needs to know it to act on the survey well, feedback? Well, first of all, number one, we need to get the information and we need to do something with it. And I think it's important that on a regular basis, we share it with the company. It could be a simple email correspondence or, or enter, enter email, whatever it's called, with your communication system where you send it to everybody and let everybody know what's going on. But here's the most important thing I want you to think about. It's easy to ask for the feedback, but it's another thing to do something with the feedback. And I kind of feel like I'm going to do a little pop culture thing with the Jerry Seinfeld, you know, Seinfeld on that show. I remember they're at the car rental counter and Jerry had made a reservation, but apparently they had no cars. And his line was, so you can make the reservation, you just don't keep the reservation. Well, you can deliver and get feedback on a survey, but you have to do something with it. Yes, and I think two easy ideas for doing something with it. If you're watching this with your team in a meeting right now, start every meeting off by reviewing the feedback you've received from your customers in the previous week. See what you can do to get that information quickly to a dashboard or another place that you know your employees are looking at on a regular basis so that they can all see the pulse of the feedback coming in from your customers in real time so that they can take the initiative to help act on the things that need to be acted upon. Right, going back to the very first episode where customer service and experience is not a department or a strategy, it's a philosophy. You need everybody involved. That's part of the culture and therefore you need to let all of your people, your team members, your employees, your colleagues know what the customers are thinking about you. Everyone is in the experience department and everyone has the power to make your customer experience super amazing. Absolutely. We'll see you next week. Can't wait.